What's up guys, Shane here from Fugadec 3D Printing and today we're checking out the March 2019 Maker Box. Welcome back guys. So again, this is the March 2019. This is the everything Maker Box. They have three tiers. They have the uh, basic, they have the Explorer box, and then they have the everything box. So the basic is going to be just four colors of PLA from the same manufacturer. The Explorer box is going to be more of the traditional old school maker box. It's going to have um, hard to print things. You're going to have required chambers. It's going to require, it could require a hard nozzle, lots of different things, flexibles, PTGs, uh, carbon fibers. Again, lots of different things could be in there and that's cool. And then the everything box is the basic and the Explorer box together is one. So let's take a look what came inside and let's take a look at the prints. So we have some new candy, Sweetheart's Chewy. Candy's kind of a funny 3D printing thing that they put in all the different boxes and things like that. And this is something new. There is a MakerBox uh, pin. So I also recently saw this in the Mondo box, where it was very interesting to see that. So they threw that in there. We got a Polyalchemy sticker, which means poly Polyalchemy stuff in there. Uh, Polymaker sticker. Uh, here they give you the uh, discount code, so if you are a subscriber to MakerBox, they give you a monthly discount code to get you into a website. And there's upwards of like 25 and like 40% off sometimes on like filament. And then once uh, a couple months go by, the, the owners of MakerBox actually put together a huge sale of all the leftover filament, like because sometimes they overbuy certain filaments and just didn't actually use as much as they thought they were going to. So they have extra rolls left over and you can score some of it up to like five pound or five kilo rolls, huge rolls sometimes at a pretty good discount. So you do have that. And then uh, 3D Geeks, they give you a, a premium license for 3D Geeks, which I don't know what that is. Auto app to explore new 3D models for your 3D printer. Never heard of it before, but I'll have to check it out. All right, so we talked about all that. Now let's go ahead through the different uh, sections of the box. So first, we're going to do the basic box. Let's go over how those prints look. All right, so these are going to be uh, pretty hard to film, but these are from the MakerBox Easy Box, and these are Poly Alchemy Elixir PLAs, and they are super duper shiny. Now in the December box, I think it was, we got to see uh, four different colors of the Elixir PLA, and here in this box, we have another set of four of them. So this one is the, I think this is the Purple Rain, which is a pretty nice light purple color. The thing with the Elixirs, you can really see your start and stop retractions. You can see the kind of pimples on there here and there. Most of those can come out, but some of them don't always. And on the bottom, they print really well. It's actually a really nice filament. It turns out pretty good. Uh, this one was printed on my uh, Anycubic i3 Mega. Right here is probably my favorite. This is the Onyx, and it looks really, really cool. This was printed on my, uh, what was this, the, uh, the Monoprice i3, a little $80 3D printer. And again, turned out great. Really good first layer. Adhered very well. A little bit of glue stick to hold it down on there. It's no heated bed. And then you can see it did well over the overhangs. And then where the support goes in there, it also did a very, very good job. So it looks like a really nice color. This one is probably the best one that came out though. So this is the Night Sky. And this is also printed on my Anycubic i3 Mega. Looks really, really nice and shiny. It came out super duper clean. I don't know why this one just came out so much cleaner than the others, exact same G-code. But it did take a little bit of my Ultra Base with it so that I kind of shed a tear for that. But yeah, again, really really nice looking and lastly we have the merlot which again very very nice looking this was printed on my uh, ender 3 so on their flexible build plate so it's a little bit of texture here on the bottom but again super great on all of the overhangs around it where support was they did a great job obviously these uh, two printers this and the anycubic i3 mega did a better job than the monoprice i3 but you get what you pay for when you buy an $80 printer, but still it did a great job and these all look fantastic. And these were all printed at um, 215C on the nozzle. I did 60C on the bed and they all were printed at 60 millimeters a second. All right, so that was the MakerBox Easy Box. Now I wanna take a look at what comes in the Explorer. So if you got that, this is what you need to see. All right, here is a beautiful, beautiful print. And this is a 3D Fuels glass filled PLA. I've tried glass filled PLA from Form Futura. It never turned out well for me. This stuff was quite insane. So this was printed on my GTEC A10. I'm running a custom firmware on there with Prusa Slicer. And 
it is just so clean looking. And on the bottom, where supports were, you can barely even tell that support was even there or needed. It just looks so clean. You can see a little bit around the side, which you can kind of hone that up a little bit. Uh, that's just because of the precisor. They have a very fine first layer that kind of gets adhered to there, but you can take a file and get yourself or a knife. But yeah, I mean, this is straight off the build plate after I remove the support and it just looks like a fantastic print. Uh, this one, I printed at 205C. The bed was at 60C, and then it was printed at 60 millimeters a second. It says hardened nozzle as advised, and my GTEC A10 has a micro Swiss hardened nozzle on it, so that really does help out. Uh, it says this is a glass filled PLA 3D printer filament, first of its kind engineering grade filament that can be used with any machine capable of printing standard PLA, which is true, except you need the hardened nozzle. Glass filled PLA offers similar benefits to standard PLA, such as very low warp low odor, and no special extruder or heated bed needed. So yeah, awesome, awesome print. All right, here we have another Poly Alchemy, and this is their FX PLA in sandstone. And it honestly looks like sandstone. It actually has some of the little dark spots in there like you would see in sandstone. It just, this is a truly awesome print again. This was also printed on my GTEC A10, and it just came out great. I printed it at 210C. 60C on the bed, and my speed again was 60 millimeters a second. This is a PLA blend with fiber, with fine fibers to give a unique textured effect. No special nozzle, nozzle or heated bed required for this material. And if we look at the bottom, again, did an excellent job over the supports where it was on the overhangs, everything's nice and round, consistent layers, just a truly awesome, awesome filament. All right, and here's the uh, filament from Polymaker. This is their Polymax PETG, which I've never tried before, and it is amazingly shiny. I mean, it really, really is. It, this stuff printed like butter. This was printed on my Anycubic i3 Mega, so you can see the shine and kind of a little bit of the texture in there from the Ultra Base. Printed straight on that, no glue stick or anything needed. Uh, you can see where the supports were. It did an excellent, excellent job with that. And so my settings were, I printed this at 235C, so a little bit hotter for PETG than what I normally print at. The bed temperature was 70C, and the speed was 50 millimeters a second. That's kind of my standard for PETG on all of my printers. Uh, and fan lower off, uh, I just set it to a max of 30%. It worked out well. So the polymaker device is BuildTac or PEI. We found that PETG can weld itself to services and if I use glue stick as an interface, but on the ultra base, you really don't need it. But if you are using, yes, PEI, uh, this will rip that just away. There's a whole bunch of information on it on the card. I'm not gonna read all of it, but yeah, this was a great print and turned out awesome. All right, and finally we have here from Breathe 3DP. This is their Phoenix Nylon in blue. And you can notice the stringing nylon is kind of stringy. So I originally printed this on my Anycubic i3 Mega, but I heard the bubbling, so I went ahead and stopped it, threw it in my uh, food dehydrator for about a day, and then threw it onto the uh, my Prusa MK3 clone, and right onto the uh, build tack there, a little bit of, oh, not sorry, not build tack, on PEI sheet with a little bit of glue stick to interlace with it, and it held down great. And I mean, the back, it looks phenomenal. Over where the supports were, it is super round, almost no blemishes except for, again, a little bit of the stringing, a little bit of pimpling down in here, a little hard to see, but it is nylon, so it is does have a flex to it. My model doesn't really allow a whole lot of flexing, but you can see it does actually flex, and nylon is very good for that. It's a super duper strong filament, uh, or a strong material, and again, it has a little bit of that flexibility to it. It is not quite very rigid, but Again, this is just a, a very cool material. Uh, this was printed at 245, so you're gonna need an all metal hot end for this because you don't wanna melt your PTFE uh, lining in your, uh, in your nozzle or in your hot end. Uh, the bed temperature was at 70C. Again, I used glue stick to hold it down. I printed this at 60 millimeters a second and the cooling fan was yes. So I, I maxed it out on that at 80%. I didn't want it to go any higher than that. It tells you here to use either glue stick or a piece of Gecko Tech Easy. Uh, easy stick hot sheet that will hold this very well. Uh, this nylon is available in a range of colors, tough when reduced and tough with reduced warpage for easier printing. Uh, it definitely was easy to print, I just had to dry it out. All right, so that's the Marsh Maker box. It was a pretty awesome box. Honestly, the filaments were spot on this month and I'm super happy with the results that I got from all of them. I'm glad to have some more of the Polyalchemy Elixir samples. 
Uh, these are really, really cool colors. You do need to print hotter than a standard PLA though. That's what I found on all of my printers. So 210 to 215. 215 seems to be kind of the sweet spot for most of my machines. And again, I tried printing these on as many different ones as I can. This was printed on three different ones uh, just to get them all tested out. But yeah, a great box. I highly recommend for anyone you want to print the Maker Box or if you're looking to get into the Explore Everything Box, uh, purchase a Micro Swiss nozzle. I think they're $15. They're definitely well worth it or $20, something like that. Uh, but they do sales all the time. You can even reach out to them saying, hey, I got the Maker Box. I'd love to print it. But, you know, can you hook me up with a, with a uh, uh, coupon code on the nozzle? Hit them up. See what they say. Uh, I've gotten them that way before and I bought a whole bunch on Black Friday in 2018. So that really helped me out get them for a bunch more of my machines so I can print more of those exotic materials on a more variety of uh, machines. That's going to wrap it up guys. So if you want to check out the Maker Box, make sure you go down to the video description. There's going to be a link and a coupon code down there. That'll get you 15% off your first box. You can't get that anywhere else. You can only get 10% through the website, but with my coupon code, it gets you 15% off. And for every three people that use that coupon code, I get a free box. This one was free, and my last several months have been free, so I thank all of you who have signed up with that link and you continue to support my channel. You are awesome, and I thank you for doing that. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Either way, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments what you think about these materials. If you have to support me financially, the best thing you can do is become a patron. Donate a dollar more, get you access to my Patreon feed and my after show when I do those and it just generally helps out. I use that to purchase larger items so I thank you guys for your support. Otherwise you can do there's one time donations down below, one time donation links down below and then there's a bunch of foot links with coupon codes especially for the Maker Box. Be sure to check those out. You guys are awesome for using all that and thank you for tuning in. So until next time, happy printing.